Aloha and happy summer. My name is Tao. And I'm Heather and we're back with another video in our Pao Hana Friday series. This summer, Heather and I will be hanging out, talking stories with our Hawaiian Airlines Ohana and sharing activities that all of you can go ahead and follow along with each week to celebrate summer and share our island home. Today we're hanging out with the other half of the executive chef duo, mm. Chef Michelle Carr Uyoka of MW Restaurant in Honolulu. Hi. Nice. Aloha, Michelle. Aloha, Michelle. Hi, nice Thank to see you. you. I have a question, Chef Michelle. What's your favorite tropical fruit? Mangoes, without Mang a doubt. Mangoes is mine too. Mangoes I love that. I mean, we're in mango. Hawaii, so we always have mangoes. I always. So, are you going to be using that in today's dish? Of course. Woo! Yes, that's exciting. It's summer, and yep. there's only one. Hawaii has two seasons mm. for me mango and non mango season. <laughs> so when it's mango season, it's everywhere right, right, on right. our menu. Oh. I mean, I think we honestly have the best mangoes in the world. Right, I agree. I agree too. And I feel like you'll rarely find someone who, where mango is not even their favorite fruit or... I know. Right? It's I feel like every, so every, sweet. Every <laughs> feel like it's natural Hawaii candy. We're raised yes. with it, so... Mango. Okay, so what are you going to be making us so today? So it's summer and what's the best thing when you have nice, beautiful, hot weather, mm -hmm. sunny skies and a bounty of fruit from Hawaii. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're going to have some apple bananas, nice. some mangoes, some papaya, nice. some pineapple, and we're going to put it with some haupia tapioca. Haupia tapioca. Oh, this sounds like a great combination. Are, do you, um, are these papayas, because these are pretty big papayas. They're major papayas. <laughs> are these are from a particular area or? They're from Makaha, same area as where we get our mangoes from. Ooh. Okay, so you guys kind of source a lot of your fruits, I guess, from Makaha? Yes. Sweet, nice, nice. I oh, love awesome. that you support the local <laughs> yeah, farmers. I love it's that important. too. Yeah, it's oh, important. Yeah, it's important. So w I chose to do a dish that kind of I grew up eating. Mm -hmm. um, Hapia tapioca is a Filipino dish, mm -hmm. halo halo. Right, right. And right. always served with like shaved ice or um, tropical fresh fruit. So yeah. I figured what's the perfect thing for it. So yeah. we just have some hapia tapioca. Okay. And so, so you, how, do you know, how do you make the tapioca. Real tapioca. simple. It's right. a you. I just take a, a little bit of coconut milk, mm -hmm. a little bit of sugar, and we bring it up to a boil, uh -huh. and then we like let it sit and um, pour it over the cooked tapioca. Uh, like like Chef Wade, he was mentioning. Oh, like, yes. A lot of it was more like a feel. Yes. So our, our last video, we learned so much from Chef Wade. So for your measurements, do you have measurements too, or are you also kind of like ah, you just just one to one or? <laughs> Usually, yeah. Uh, I'm a very uh, precise, oh, we okay. go by Good, so the weight, uh -huh. but for this, you can do um, one part coconut milk and 50% sugar. Okay. So if it's okay. a 16 ounce can of coconut milk, 8 ounces of yeah. sugar. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you cut your papaya already, I see yeah. that. So I cut chopped up the papaya, some pineapple, half, mangoes. Yeah. And then I took the seeds out. Okay. And then we have some pineapple, some mango. Mm -hmm. This this variety is a mapulehu. Oh, okay, mapulehu. Yes, and then yes, that's yes, a yes. hidden mango. These two right here. Yes. Okay. And then we have some bananas and some papaya. So real simple. You can do this for breakfast mm -hmm. or snack or perfect after Wade's barbecue huli huli yes. chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Um, There's nothing like a sweet fruit to end up a great meal, yes, you know? Yes. And especially in the summertime, it's so refreshing. Yes, yes it is. And so also we it. just will take some of the... Okay, so you, you're just um, adding, well, we, we have these fruits on top of the tapioca that's mm -hmm. in the... Is the papaya, we have like sunrise papaya, and is this a, a particular kind of papaya? For, Makaha papaya. Uh, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> right. it's yeah, they're huge. huge. It's, a, it's grown in Makaha and it's done by Korean Natural Farming. So it's a, a non-GMO. Non yeah. The size of this, you can feed I, I like can, yeah. <laughs> two well, or it, three people. With it works papayas. with the big papaya for yes. sure, right? And it was so funny because when we just opened Artisan and we served breakfast there yeah, uh -huh. at the beginning, we're like, oh, we can sell papaya by the slice. And then I saw the papaya, I was like, okay, maybe <laughs> papaya by the, by quarter. the quarters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would definitely have leftovers <laughs> for yes. another snack. Okay, so um, what can we find at, well, I know MW, the menu is fabulous, but mm -hmm. the Artisan, what can we find there normally? Oh, okay. It's a, it's a fun, casual concept mm -hmm. for us, and we like to do a little bit more casual takeaway fare, mm -hmm. and then we also have a wide variety of desserts and baked goods downstairs oh, as terrific. well. Mm -hmm. So this is well, one item on the menu? 
No, not really. Oh, gosh, awesome. it, it might be after this. Sure? It might no, be right, after right, right, this right, 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 because right. people can enjoy it for breakfast right. or yes. yeah. so any time of the day. Yes. It's yeah. so simple, but it looks so beautiful, and I know it's going to taste amazing. Yep. With, especially yeah. with these fresh fruits. They made their way all the way from Makaha <laughs> into town. You didn't have to drive too far. No, not at all. Nice and simple. I love it. I love it. It's colorful, let's and try I know it out. it's let's full try it out. of vitamins, so it's yeah. actually really good for you. I'm going to try to get equal parts of all the fruits and the tapioca. Let's try it. Well, definitely, we know what. It'll be a healthy spoonful. Mmm. Mmm. The pineapple is so nice and sweet. I'm I the love mango. the combination with the mango in there. So There's tartiness, but you get the mm -hmm. sweetness from the hopia mm -hmm. pudding. Out. So that's the tapioca. I might be going in for more. That is <laughs> I mean, delicious. That definitely I am going to be going in for more. <laughs> What's really cool and fun about this dish is you can do it with your favorite fruit mm -hmm. as well as feature different fruits throughout the season. So mm -hmm. when it's lychee season, you can add some lychee or lily koi, nice. dragon fruit. Oh, so my goodness. you get to showcase all of the different primers of Hawaii. And so oh, colorful sure. too. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Mm. We're going to keep eating. <laughs> we want to go ahead and say mahalo again, Chef Michelle, oh, for, thank you. for just sharing this with us. And it's been, it's amazing. It tastes mm -hmm. wonderful. All of you guys should go ahead and try it. Again, mahalo for joining us on another episode of our Backyard Pahana. If you do decide to make this dish, please snap a photo and tag us at Hawaiian Airlines or hashtag Pahana with Hawaiian Airlines. Aloha. 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 Aloha